In this video, I made the ultimate raid farm. This raid farm produces a bunch of totems, emeralds, and other great loot. What's up guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode 42 of Minecraft Survival. To get this episode started, I'm going to get some lava. Hopefully I can find some lava in this cave. Oh, I heard a skeleton shoot at me. There it is. That's pretty cool, it dropped some chain armor. There are so many mobs in this cave. Oh, creeper blew up. Let's see what's down here. Oh, perfect. I found some lava. All right, guys, now that I have some lava, I'm going to head back to the surface. Now I'm going to use my trident farm to get some tridents. In this trident farm, drowns will spawn up there. They'll then get pushed by the water stream into the kill chamber. To use this farm, all I have to do is flick this lever up and stand over here. As you guys can see there, all the drowns will get automatically killed. Their loot will get funneled down into a collection's chest. Alright guys, now I'm going to collect the loot. Since this ice highway leads over to the pillager outpost where I'm going to make the raid farm, I'm going to create a raid farm themed tower over here. Before I make the tower, I'm going to flatten out this area. To get this build started, I'm going to create an outline out of deep slate tiles. Now I'm going to fill in the walls with stone bricks. The walls are looking good. The next thing I'm going to create is the roof. Alright guys, now that I'm done making the roof, I'm going to create a totem and emerald sign in the front. First I'll create a totem over there. Now I'm going to create the emerald sign. Check that out guys, I am done making the totem and emerald signs. The next thing I'm going to create is the entrance. I'll make a conveyor belt in this back corner. This conveyor belt will display some totems and emeralds. Alright guys, now I'm going to go over to the pillager outpost. This ice highway makes it so much easier for me to get there. It travels so quickly. This is the pillager outpost I'm going to use to make the raid farm. First I'm going to need to place some leaves. These leaves will prevent pillagers from spawning around the bottom of the outpost. I'll use these glass panes to find the pillager spawn spot. Perfect, I found the pillager spawn spot. Now I'm going to mark the southeast block of this pillager spawn spot. I'll also get started making the walls of this lower chamber. Before I make the rest of it, I'm going to break the outpost. Alright guys, now that I have broken the pillager outpost and covered the ground with leaves, I'm going to make the rest of these walls. In this farm, pillagers will spawn on that block, then get pushed off by the glass block into the kill chamber. I'll make a trident killer down here. Now 
Whenever this trident killer kills the pillager captain, I will get the bad omen effect. Alright guys, now that I'm done making this lower trident killer, I'm going to build up here. This top platform is where I'm going to make the upper trident killer. This trident killer will automatically kill all the mobs that spawn from the raid. The next thing I'm going to make is the collection system. In this collection system, that minecart topper will collect items through the trident killer floor. The items will then get funneled down into those chests. Now I'm going to create the drop chamber. This drop chamber is where the raid mobs will fall down. The next thing I'm going to create is the upper spawning platform. That lava will kill all the ravagers. Now it's time to add the water. That water will push all raid mobs that spawn on that platform over there. The final thing I'm going to build is the villager chamber. I'm going to need to bring a villager over there. First I need to break these blocks though. To transport a villager from down there all the way up there, I'm going to use a bubble column. To bring a villager over to this bubble column, I'm going to use a boat and a lead. Now I will need to wait until it's night time for it to go to sleep. There we go. By placing these two leaves, raid mobs will not be able to spawn on the bed. Now I'll need to break this bubble column. I almost forgot one thing. I need to place some leaves over here. Check this out guys, the raid farm is now complete. By the way, the reason why I didn't make the ice path closer to it is to prevent raid mobs from spawning on the ice path. I am now going to use this raid farm. To use it, I first need to turn on the lower trident killer. Now I need to turn on the upper trident killer. Alright guys, now that I've done that, all I have to do is wait over here. Pillagers will spawn at the pillager spawn spot, then get pushed off by the glass block into the trident killer. They will then get automatically killed. Whenever a pillager captain is killed, I will get bad omen. A raid will then start because this area is designated as a village. It is designated as a village because there is a villager linked to a bed over there. Raid mobs will spawn in that tower, then get pushed over to the kill chamber. The ravagers will get killed by the lava, while all the other raid mobs will fall down here. I will collect the XP over here and the loot will get funneled down into the collection's chests. As you guys can see here, the raid is now complete. I am now going to turn this farm off. I can collect all the loot at this collection system. If you want to learn how to make this farm, I recommend you watch my best simple 1.20 automatic raid farm tutorial. A link to that tutorial is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Survival. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.